Hey there folks, if you watch my YouTube channel, you know that I am kind of obsessed with kayak carts. Now aside from Hobie, which manufactures carts specifically for their kayaks, most manufacturers of kayaks out there actually depend on third party vendors to make kayak carts for their kayaks, or they make a basic uh, kayak cart design that works with multiple types of kayaks out there. So today I thought I'd go over this really interesting folding kayak cart that I came across on Amazon and I've been using it for two months um, because I cannot stand YouTube reviews of products where people like get something fresh out of a box and they're like oh this is amazing. I've been using this for 60 days in salt water and fresh water on lighter kayaks, on heavier kayaks, on sand, on gravel, on concrete, asphalt, loose gravel, everything. And I thought I'd go over uh, my thoughts on the Ganex Find Heavy Duty Folding Kayak Cart, which retails for just 120 bucks. Okay, so as you saw when I started out this video, this kayak cart is very unique in that it folds down very compact like a transformer. It's kind of amazing. It weighs about eight pounds, so it's still fairly heavy duty, and it has movable parts uh, that allow it to fold up. You can also adjust the distance that these tires are apart. Um, you can tighten it up. I always keep it at the max. The max actually works perfectly with my Old Town Salty 120 PDL and my Old Town Autopilot 120, so pretty much all the Old Towns, uh, which have a fairly wide spacing in their tri-hole design. It allows it to lock in there really nicely, and you can secure that. And also at this distance, it's the distance that it needs to fold down perfectly in order to get the tires and everything to not overlap, so you get the most compact uh, folding of it when these are spaced at their maximal distance. Now this is a very heavy duty cart. It's rated up to 250 pounds so it can handle a very heavy fishing kayak that's loaded down with tons of gear. You've got a steel frame and then these it looks like aluminum bunks here with rubber coated on top so it doesn't slip up and down when it gets in those grooves in your kayak. In fact, I've hardly ever used straps on this thing unless I'm going over uneven terrain. Uh, but even going up and down rough uh, grooved ramps, uh, the kayak was not slipping on this. So this is very grippy and holds well. Um, as you can tell, some of the components are already starting to come off on this thing though. So it does feel cheap a little bit on some components. And I think if they would have just upgraded the components a little bit better on this cart, it would have knocked it out of the park. But as you can see, this little bumper on the end, this one has it, this one doesn't, it fell off. Similarly, uh, the glue they used for the kickstands on this thing uh, aren't very good. And I already lost one somewhere on a path somewhere. So you, if you want to use this, you want to take these off, glue them, and I would recommend doing the same for those end bumpers there. Uh, because just some exposure to salt water and fresh water seems to have degraded the glue. But having these kickstands is really nice because when you put this down, it makes the, the bunks a little more level, not so high. Um, so it's really easy to slip your kayak up on top of these bunks with those kickstands. And the kickstands still function really well, even in the absence of these little rubber feet. So it's not really been an issue for me. These can be folded to uh, different uh, angles depending on uh, the terrain you're going over. If you really need to tuck them up out of the way so you don't, you don't hit rocks and things like that. Um, for me, a lot of times because I've just been using this around concrete, most of them I just leave them in that down position. And when I'm rolling this with the kayak cart, it gives it a couple inches space off there and I'm not hitting anything when I'm going on asphalt. But on gravel and stuff, I did have to fold it up out of the way so it didn't catch. Now, if I had to give these a grade, I would say I'd give it a C plus. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, I talked about some of the components just falling off. But I'm actually getting a fair amount of corrosion um, at some pretty important components. Uh, namely, a number of the nuts, bolts, and really importantly, some of these little tab springs or button springs that they use right here are rusting quite a bit. And... And when I took this out of salt water, I always gave it a really good rinse in fresh water, but I just don't think they used uh, the highest quality stainless steel springs on these things. What's really interesting is down low um, on those same spring buttons here, like down by the tires, they did seem to use stainless. So the ones that they expected to get really wet down here are stainless and I have no issues with those, but the ones higher up are not and they have rusted really badly. 
So when I look down inside there, the leaf springs are actually rusting. I think they're just going to break at some point and then that's going to render that useless. So uh, it looks like it's not too hard for me to slide a new spring down in there and replace these with a the stainless, uh, but I'm going to have to find the right length and that might be a bit of a pain. Um, or if I had just known to take proper precautions, I might have lubricated those with some WD-40 every trip and prevented any corrosion at all. Uh, so that's why I'm giving it a C plus. I think they could have done a little bit better job with some stainless parts there But for 120 bucks having a folding cart uh, that can handle weight I took this out on like I said on hard surfaces. It excels very very well um, Because of these three and a half inch wide tires their eight inch diameter But I noticed when going over like rocky rough terrain when I was taking down an unimproved trail I really had a lot of teetering of the kayak and very bumpy and unstable and that's just because these are a fairly small diameter tire so in comparison here's my wilderness systems cart see the tire difference here the wheel difference because this is a wider diameter wheel on the wilderness systems cart which is still my favorite cart uh, it flattens this out a little bit more as it goes over rocks so it's not so rough it doesn't like bang and drop off of rocks uh, quite so easily because it can roll more gently over the top of rocks whereas this being a much lower diameter wheel it just felt like it was shuddering the kayak and jarring it a little bit more both of these wheels just absolutely suck on sand so if you're in soft sand or soft gravel or mud none of these are going to work very well and you're going to have to go with a kayak uh, cart so you're going to have to go with balloon style wheels and they don't have that option for this cart here so you're gonna have to find a different cart okay now unfolding this thing is really easy and folding it back up is a bit of a pain actually i found it's a lot harder to fold back up than it is to unfold but there are all these little leaf spring buttons everywhere on this thing and you start with the bunks. It weighs about eight pounds, so it's not really lightweight, um, but it is compact. Then after you get the bunks folded up, you wanna fold those sideways. And this is where those uh, springs that have rusted are causing me the most problem because they're catching a little bit more than they used to. But you see why you need that maximum space here. Okay, now it's actually pretty easy to do with the tires because they haven't corroded at all. And a lot of times gravity will just work with you on this. I find it's a lot easier doing it laying down, but there you go. It's compact, folds down, and then like I said, it's super easy. Much faster to fold back up, which is nice because you want to get on the water really quickly in the morning you can do this really quickly and it's not a problem would I buy this again absolutely I would it's a, for 120 bucks super compact super easy to use especially if I was just doing freshwater or saltwater improved ramps gravel asphalt launches where it's compact surfaces this is really handy and I think with just a little bit of care and work on it beforehand in terms of gluing things and putting some lubricants on there to prevent any sort of corrosion and it's held up like i said to 200 plus pound kayaks no problem i'm um, even going on i took it on sand and got this thing coated in sand and in the surf uh, i didn't get a lot of sand penetration into the wheels they spin smoothly not a lot of grinding um, so they seem to be holding up extremely well on that end so I'll put links to this kayak cart below and uh, you can give it a try if you think it might work for you I mean it's not a wilderness systems cart it's not built like a wilderness systems cart but if you're looking for a compact cart that you can throw in your kayak or in your car easily that doesn't take up too much space or a backup cart even at 120 bucks this is a pretty good deal all right guys I'll see you guys next time just remember fish smarter not harder bye guys